Hello and welcome. I'm so excited to make today's video. As we're going to get into it, is reviewing some mods. So literally one year ago, I posted my first ever YouTube video. <laughs> let's just say it wasn't the best. But I thought we'd review some mods, get into it. So let's see, what's the first mod we'll be getting into that will hopefully not break my game? Okay, so I've recently added this into my game, which you probably have seen if you've seen any of our Let's Plays or a couple of our YouTube shorts or TikToks. Uh, and it has literally a hundred base game traits. And I've been having a lot of fun seeing what we have within this pack itself. So if we click on this little image, you guys can see a variety of the ones that pop up. And there's a lot. I absolutely enjoy having this one in my game. Uh, let's just review. So we got like, they have like all the basics. Obviously, we've got serious, pure. I know there's one that says like ugly because we accidentally let it on. I'm like, my sim's not ugly. So uh, maybe I won't probably be using that one. But we got like coward, relationship ones. And I honestly feel like this is it's added a bit of spice to my game, which I've definitely enjoyed. I know not a lot of people add a lot of different traits, but I feel like traits can get a bit more monotonous, and I'm just like, oh, the same ones over and over again that are my typical favorites. So as we scroll down, you guys can see uh, this is our meme made of pot two parts so there's a version one and there's a version two uh this is the version two that i personally have in my game and i've been having a lot of fun with and uh, yeah so let's see it is base game compatible so no other requirements needed which is absolutely amazing all my custom trades packs are compatible with any other mods which is always awesome and provided with cast version and reward version that can be used together so let's see Hey, hey, I'm over here now. So as you guys can see, our beautiful little experiment that I've been doing. Um, if you guys haven't seen those, I definitely recommend. But let's check out the traits and whatnot and what we get in with this new mod that we have. If we click on here, as you guys can see, we get a lot, like, variety. Like, honestly, I mean, a hundred. So uh, why don't we just randomly generate it and see what we pop up with, if we pop up with any of the new ones. Oh, we got two new ones. High Spirited. These sims live a very energetic, playful, and happy life during exciting things. Other sims might get excited around High Spirited sims. And let's see, motivating. These sims make sims around them get focused. So I will say, though, if with playing with a few of these, you got to be careful with the emotions things because I have one where they're funny to be around so that your sims get hysterical. So just be cautious with some of these, I would say. And, like, some of them can be a little mean, I won't lie, like the ugly one. Personally, I don't want to say my sims ugly because I feel like that's kind of rude. But let's roll that dice again. Let's see. No new ones. What do we get? Sensitive. So these sims can... Uh, sense and react to nearby sims emotions, which can be exhausting for them So I found that one quite interesting your sims can be tense a bit more often and it's a bit more realistic I don't know. I like adding this to my gameplay because I feel like it mixes things up We have one friendly these sims are kind and pleasant They are calm when they're near other sims and become happy when being near their friends. They build friendships slightly faster They however get sad for being near sims who they do not get along with so yeah I'm having a lot of fun playing with these and it's like I said, it's been spicing up my gameplay. Let me know if you guys have this already or if you plan to download it and how is it going for you? I feel like this is really beneficial for gameplay mainly. So let's see what other mods we can get into. So now here we are for better build bide. I thought we'd do a build one as I'm building more often and more frequently and enjoying it personally. And better build bide is a mod if you don't know about it already. I feel like if you're a builder, you know about it. But if you don't know, it is an amazing item that makes building a little more easier. It included like build mode, expandable, like when you look at your items, expanding that, which helps me out personally. Because I don't know all the items and digging for the items is so much work. So I absolutely appreciate being able to have that. It also includes like different parts where you can check off whether you want debug to show or if you want like it, it even shows off the different kits. So if you want to select a certain kit all the way down to like bought items to custom content and being able to show those. So I find those very helpful. It really just categorizes and helps me hunt and search for certain items, especially debug and life edit. So those are like the two that I'm found very helpful to be able to utilize and whatnot. And yeah, I absolutely love this one. Let me know if you guys already have it. Uh, and if it's something you're looking into getting, I just found it like so much easier to be able to dig through and do building and whatnot and be able to take my time while also not feel like I'm digging forever. Don't get me wrong. I'm still digging forever because I don't know where things are. But I feel like it just helps me out in so many ways with being able to build. 
I personally don't have the more advanced one, which is Tool Mod, which if you guys know about that one. Uh, but I do personally have better build bots. So let's go check this out in the game itself. Okay, so here we are in one of my old builds, which if you guys want to check out, it is the Bar Barn on my channel. But I know a lot of spoils right now. But to get into the mod itself, as you guys can see, if we push one, we can expand this area, which makes digging so much easier, so much better. And then one again on my keyboard to close that off. And then as we click over here, as you guys can see, we have better build by down here. Um, when you click down there, I keep on organize debug and move objects on so we don't have to have those extra cheats for those. And organizing debug, it makes it a little easier. Anything I can do to make debug a lot like more easy to like search through and whatnot. So I absolutely appreciate that. We also have debug and light about it over here, which makes it nice and easy. It makes it so I don't have to do, you know, those extra cheats in while. Obviously, I need to include the... If we go to, what's it called? If we go to, is it specials? No, clearly I don't know what I'm doing. If we go to, if we go to content though, we can turn on light edit and debug and the custom content showing what we desire and what we want to be presented to us at the time. Uh, I personally like turning off custom content when uh, I'm doing certain builds because it just makes it easier to dig through stuff without getting confused with what's my CC and what's not. Or, you know, it's just, it actually sneaks up in there, especially when you have so much CC. And, which is the other benefit, which I just realized I do have, I wasn't sure, but if you click down here, it just shows off all the different kits, rather than just kits in general, so, like, if I just want bathroom clutter every day, which, with the, just the game itself, without the mod, it doesn't allow that, as I currently know, I've just had the mods for, for so long, and I feel like they've been incorporating more in the game, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, with this mod itself, it adds that feature where you can select which kit you want, and without the mod, you don't really have that feature, so I absolutely love that. So now we'll see what other mods we can get into to add to my game, maybe? Maybe we can add a new one. Okay, I am over here yet again, just so we can read this beautiful mod from Little Miss Sam. Uh, and it, yeah, so this is the live-in service, so I'm very excited to be able to add this one. So you can hire two live-in nannies, two live-in maids, two live-in gardeners, and or ranch hands. So we need a lot of extra help on our rags to ranches, because that's personally where I want to be able to use this. Our rags to ranches series needs all the help I can get. I have been struggling, and I have been wanting to download this for a while now. So we can add, you know, help, get more help options through the household, uh, wait, New options on the phone under the household menu called live-in service, which will pop up a new menu as the options to hire a nanny, maid, gardener, or ranch hand. The option is to hire the second live-in hand service will be usable uh, as soon as we get the first one. So I've seen somebody do this and they had to like reboot their game before they saw the pop-up. So just a heads up with that. I don't know what it's going to be like for us personally. I'm excited, but it says make sure you hire one before you hire two. So that's good to know. And let's see, you can cancel it, whatever, on the phone the same way. You can choose NPC, but they must have, like, no job or they must fulfill the requirements of being a nanny so that they can be a nanny. Uh, is homeless, uh, not a vampire, not famous. So there's quite a few requirements if you're, like, wondering, like, why is it not letting me hire the sim? Uh, it's probably because of that. So let's see. Uh, on the, the sim themselves, you'll find the live-in service pie menu option. So you can give them tip, plan the outfits. You can also tell them to go to sleep. So that's good to know. We got to take care of them occasionally. And I believe there's a way to select what you want them to do. So you can be like, take care of this and do this. So that's always good uh, in the settings. So that's where you can take care of it and whatnot. So that's good to know. So I'm very excited. I'm glad we were able to read this together. It also mentions that if you're going to be using that live in nanny, get the better nanny mod. I personally don't know what that is. But it sounds like another mod we can get in the future when I personally want a nanny in my game. So just a heads up if you're planning personally. So I'm very excited to add this. Let me know. Have you guys added this to your game yet? Or are you planning to now? Or you're just excited to see it in our next ranches? Because I know I personally am. So let's hop into the game and hire a service for a random sim. Why not? Okay, so we're finally in the game. We are in the horse ranch pack because I feel like they have horses and whatnot. We're in the Grove family, I believe it is. And you guys have no idea how long I've been looking for this because my silly butt did not read the fact that we're supposed to base this off of a lot trait. So let me move my head over here now. As you guys can see, there is a live in service lot trait. So you gotta add that. It is lot challenges, not lot traits itself. So that was another reason why I was like, I can't find it. My brain was just like, it's not lot challenges like why would it be but like i guess it makes sense i don't know it's just the way the mod is coded so now that we have that beautiful extra little bonus thing we got going on we should be able to hire somebody i've been literally re-downloading googling like what am i doing wrong so uh we figured it out so we have the lot tray 
as you guys can see down here, live in service. Let's go. And we're going to hire a live in ranch hand because why not? So you guys can see these are the beautiful people we can hire. Uh, you know what, Kyle? You're jobless. Come on over, Kyle. That sounds like a great idea person to hire. Let's go for it. All right. Thank you for contracting uh, Buckaroo Bridge or Ranch Services. Your ranch hand will be arrived as soon as possible. Where are you at? I need the help. I've been downloading this mod so many times now. Come over here and help me, my family. Um, where are you at? He's here. Are you shirtless? I am dead. This is like the... <laughs> I should have hired a ranch hand service sooner. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so we you click on them, you can do a variety of things. I added an extra bed in the kids' room because, like, obviously, this is where we're gonna assign the bed for a live in service, our Kyle and whatnot. So, hey, Kyle, let's just interrupt this whole family. And when you click on him, we should have a live in service button here, also. So, we have that we can give tips, go eat something, go take a shower, go sleep, plan outfits, do all the shenanigans that our sim needs to do. And whatnot. And I'm pretty sure there's also a way to edit the settings and whatnot in here. We gotta figure that out also. There's a lot to figure out. It just took me a fat minute to figure out how to hire a live-in service. But now that we hired one, can we hire two? Hire a second living in ranch. <gasps> you can right away. So it worked this time. Louie, how well? That sounds perfect. You know what? Let's just... <laughs> Let's just hire. Let's hire everybody. Let's go. Um, Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so excited. What? So go take a shower. We can tell them what to do. We just hired everybody. Why not? Um, yeah, and then apparently, apparently they're flirty drunk right now. They don't understand that what their wife is doing right now. We're hiring a bunch of services. So this is exciting. So where do I go for settings? Give me a fat minute while we figure that part out, I guess. Because uh, another part that I got to figure out. Yay! General, okay, so when you go to your phone, let me redo that real quick. Let me redo that so we can walk you all through it because I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Click on live in service. We got all the way at the bottom, general settings. Uh, enable take care of plans, go to sleep, lock bladder, let's see, hygiene, hunger, fun. Uh, you could just lock all that. So it, it'd just be easier if you worried about, you know, these sims dying. You know, we've killed a few sims. So you can lock that. Um, you could also disable um, or allow them to take care of certain things too. So that's pretty cool to know. That's all there. I finally got the mod. Woo! I can't... You have no idea how excited I am. It took me so long. I also had to download another mod for XML thingy whatnot to get this. Uh, so the mod will properly work, which makes sense. Uh, I'm a little behind on editing and looking into the mod details. So I definitely recommend reading into it. I'm excited to see. We got a shirtless Ray Chan person helping out. Let's go. Um, and we also have a werewolf because that sounds like a great idea. So let me know what you guys think. I'm excited. Like, can we like, we can romance and stuff, right? You know, should we just interrupt the whole family lamb? Um, can we not? Where's the romance? Huh? Howdy. Can I not romance you guys? Hello? Wait, how old are you guys? I have questions. Young adult. Young adult. Where's that romance option? Can I not romance you? Oh no! Where's the romance option? I wanted to be able to romance. Where's my hubby? Can I help him into you? Did I, like, break my game already? Did we break the game? Shy kiss? No, romance is there. Can we not romance our ranch man? Is it while they're on duty? That's rude. That's so rude. Did the game do that to me? Come on, go say hi. Who are we saying hi to? You? Okay, hold on. Hey, how are ya? Hee ya. Can I flirt with you now? Sims 3 romance? <gasps> Inter wait whoa, whoa, whoa we got we got oh my god another shy kiss go for it go for it i forgot i downloaded so many mods now that i downloaded the mxs uh, mxl i think it's what it's called i can use them okay here we go oh my god oh my god oh my god <gasps> did they uh, 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 whisper in the ear sing oh my god i forgot i downloaded a romance thing about like sims 3 romancing oh my god oh my god uh flirt go for it Oh my god, oh my god, my kid's coming, my kid's coming. Oh my god, I'm just wrecking this family in a matter of minutes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no! Are they gonna react? Wait, why are they excited? I mean, I know they were a bit dazed, but like, how dazed are they? They just farted! Flirty drunk. I don't know what's happening. How about we leap into arms? Do it. Do it. I forgot this is another old mod I have. I, we're just experiencing it all. Hold on. Leap into their arms. Go for it. Oh, jealous. I would be too. It feels like it's been forever since Albert has a romantic interest with their partner. Oh, no. 
Personality discovered. Oh boy. Now your son's walking in. What are you gonna do? Are we still flirting? Oh no, what's happening? Oh, 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 dad's trying to say, hey, I love you more. Ask about quietness. Yeah, why is everybody so quiet? Like, these things just happen. <laughs> Oh my god, now we're getting yelled at. Oh my god, should we end it? I don't know, I'm like in the- I'm in it for the drama. I'm walking away, walk away, walk away, pause the game, pause the game, mm-mm, walk away. The drama, we're done, we're done. And that's- that. that's another year of checking out mods, I guess. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Please sort of like, comment, and subscribe, and if you're new to this village, welcome on in. How long have you guys been part of this village? Do you even know? Uh, did you enjoy this video? Let me know down below, because I- it was definitely experience. It lasted a little longer than I thought. And the drama and the tea that I love to add always definitely happened. Um, didn't expect it though. So I'm very glad that I downloaded these mods with you guys and got to experience it. Because I feel like a lot of my other mods that I haven't really been using are coming out. And we'll be able to see those in future Let's Plays. So that's going to be exciting. Uh, I mean, not the like the cheating scenario. That, that was just, you know, that just kind of happened. But uh, the romance, the Sims 3 romance options and whatnot. And different interactions that I've downloaded in the past. So... Not only was this about downloading mods, but this also helped me with my other mods that I've had in the past. So let me know if you guys ever want to see more videos like this because I don't normally do it. It's kind of like an annual tradition. Maybe we'll explore all the, the million other mods I have and who knows what I'll have in a year from now. So I think we're going to end it there. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Love you and bye!